we began with weighing at roughly 1.5 grams of copper turnings, and then we added 15 mils of 8 molar nitric acid. But since this created a bit of a noxious gas, we left it in the fume hood to uh, continue to react overnight. Now the next day we added 40 mils of 3 molar um, sodium hydroxide. This uh, neutralizes part of the excess acid from the uh, previous reaction and it also started to react with the copper ions to form a precipitate. After that reaction was complete, we added an extra 100 milliliters of distilled water um, and we also uh, brought it to the boil. Once the solution was brought to the boil, we took it off the hot plate and the students here are demonstrating a trick you can use to, uh, to grab it without using um, steel tongs, which would be a bit slippery. Around this time where you could see that the black solid had settled towards the bottom and this enabled us to decant this off down the sink. Uh, careful not to lose any of that solid to maintain our product mass. And then we repeated the process another two times with 50 mils of distilled water each time. After the black solid had been decanted a few times, 50 mils of 3 molar sulfuric acid was added. We then measured out uh, roughly 5 grams of zinc and we added this to our solution. Now this produced a gas, so we also put this into the fume hood with a wash glass on top. This reaction took a long time, so we left this in the fume hood overnight. The next day we found that the colour from the solution had disappeared and went clear. All that was left was a stringy-like brown substance. We decanted off the clear liquid and rinsed it just like we did before. We weighed a evaporating dish beforehand and then we proceeded to transfer the solid into the evaporating dish. In this little section of the video, uh, the students are having a bit of difficulty trying to get it out since it's stuck to the bottom of the beaker. The main idea is to Tip the beaker upside down, use a spatula to get up most of the solid bulk, and then use the distilled water bottle, turn it upside down, squirt it up into the bottom of the, of the uh, beaker, and allow the water to drag it down. Here we're evaporating it, and we're just letting it to cool down, heat on and then heat off, just so that it doesn't spit uncontrollably on everybody. Then once it was dried, we then weighed the resulting mass.